You know, Senator, there are many things out there that, depending on the context, can either be countable or uncountable. The same thing. Often, when we are talking about the substance, we use the uncountable. All right. For example, if I told you the stone my grandfather used to build the house is still in perfect condition, mm-hmm. that does not mean el canto. No. Que es la piedra pero de, de materia prima. Mm-hmm. So uncountable. The stone is. Remember with uncountables we use the singular. Mm-hmm. Although there is no singular or plural but with uncountables. But we use the singular form of the verb. But when we talk about an individual object. So when we think about the object itself and not the category or the substance. We, off, we use countable. The two stones from the beach are beautiful. Las dos piedras de la playa. Son preciosas. Mm-hmm. All right. Bueno, eh, palabras que pueden ser contables e incontables. Pues hay muchas cosas que según el contexto eh, pueden ser o contables o incontables. Y a menudo cuando hablamos de la sustancia o de la materia prima usamos el incontable, ¿ok? Como ha dicho Colby, la piedra que mi abuelo usó para construir la casa está en perfectas condiciones. The stone my grandfather used eh, no, es, no es que usara una piedra para tal, sino la piedra como materia prima. Eh, o cuando hablamos del Objeto individual usamos contable, es decir, por ejemplo, las dos piedras de la playa son preciosas. The two stones from the beach are beautiful. One and two stones. Another example is glass. Mm-hmm. Is glass fragile? Yes, it is. All right, so as a substance, glass is a fragile substance, really. Yes. But what if I say how many glasses are there on the table? Aha, these are objects. So there are four glasses on the table. Okay, so glass is the substance, and glasses are the other. Both gafas de ver and vasos are glasses. Mm-hmm. Fish. For example, Sandra, where is the fish good? Uh, the fish is good in the north of Spain. Okay. So when we're talking about the substance, in this case, the meat, uh, it's uncountable. Mm-hmm. The fish in the north of Spain is good. Mm-hmm. Does not mean hay un pez en el norte que, que está bien. No. <laughs> no. Okay. It's Actually, in, Sp- in Spanish, you have two different words for this. Pescado y pez. That's right. That's a good point. We just uh, say well, fish. Yep. Okay, but if I said, Sandra, what are barracuda, sharks, and piranhas? They are dangerous fish. Uh, So they are. No, fish is irregular. One fish, two fish, three fish. Mm -hmm. But yes, in this case, when you're thinking about species or types, they are countable. Yeah. How many fish are there in your aquarium today? (laughs) I don't want to tell people, but there is only one fish in my aquarium today. Okay. Okay. There were a lot more, but they passed away. Mm-hmm. Murieron. Okay. Is it a little bit fish or a big fish? It's a medium sized fish. Un pezón. <laughs> oh, it's a medium sized ah, fish. Okay. You know, oh. here's a very common mistake, Sandra. What? Your hair is very short. That's right. But Spanish people often say, for example, Tienes un pelo muy largo. You have a long hair, which would be un pelo muy largo. Solo uno. <laughs> hair, count as countable, is un pelo, dos pelos, tres pelos. But your hair is, it means you're peinado. Mm-hmm. Your hair is very nice today. Thank you, Does Colby. that mean el pelo que tienes está muy, <laughs> muy bonito? No. Your hair is nice means your style. But... If I said, hay tres pelos en mi sopa. There are three hairs in my soup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Iron. Hierro. Wrought iron on a balcony looks beautiful. Do you agree? I do agree. Hierro forjado. Mm-hmm. Wrought iron. How many irons do you have? I only have one. So here we're talking about? 
plantas. Plantas. Uh, mm-hmm. You have one iron. Yep. I don't need more. How many have you? Own, how many irons have you owned in your life? I have only owned two irons in my life, right. and I'm not counting the ones at my mom's house. Okay. What is paper made from? Uh, paper is made from trees. All right, so we're talking about the substance here. Exactly. Paper is made from trees. Mm-hmm. How many papers do you read? In Spain, it's a good idea to read two papers. Uh-huh. So here we're talking about newspapers. But a, as a, so as countable, papers are, you could say, per, per, los periódicos son. Or what is a paper? I have to read an important paper before the meeting. A paper is also like a report. A report, a document. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Or for, for school, say, I have a paper due ah, next yes, week. an essay or mm-hmm. something like that. Uh-huh. Chocolate is another good example. Chocolate is always good. Is the chocolate in France good? You know, the chocolate in France is delicious. Mm-hmm. How many chocolates did you eat? What am I asking there, Sandra? If I ask you, Sandra, how many chocolates did you eat? Quantos tipos de chocolate? No, no. you're asking me, uh, like, how many bonbons did I eat? Uh, so chocolate is the substance, and chocolates are bonbones. Mm-hmm. So oh. I ate a lot of chocolates. <laughs> Probably, well, I'm not going to say. Here's another uh, strange example. Interesting. Pepper. Pimienta? Pepper is... Pimienta. Peppers are pimiento. Los pimientos son. Mm-hmm. Is there usually black pepper on the table at a restaurant in Spain? Uh, no, there usually isn't black pepper on a table at a restaurant in Spain. How many peppers are there in the supermarket? Well, there are red. I mean, 26, I mean. <laughs> I know. Like varieties. Yeah, uh-huh. There are red peppers, mm-hmm. green peppers, and yellow peppers. Yellow peppers. Well, and a couple more, depends. Orange? Are there Are there any orange peppers? I've seen orange peppers, too. So countable. And Pimientos. piquillo peppers. Mm-hmm. And padrone peppers. Padrone and piquillo. Padrone and piquillo peppers. <laughs> They're practically <laughs> pricey. <laughs> what type of, clo- of cloth is comfortable in the summer? Tipo de tela in this case, cotton cloth is mm-hmm. cool in the summer. Uh-huh. Algodon. How many cloths are there in your house? Well, there are two in the kitchen and one in each bathroom. So uncountable cloth tela. Countable, there are three cloths. Tres trapos, no? Mm-hmm. A cloth is a rag. Also. Or a tea towel. A tea towel. We saw this one in the section on American English and British English. Where is most rubber from? Most rubber is from Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Thailand. Uh, so rubber is the substance. Mm-hmm, la sustancia. But as countable, rubbers are, mm-hmm. there's a difference in British English and American English. That's correct. Uh, the rubbers are expensive in American English means? That the condoms are uh, expensive. Los son caros. And rubbers are cheap in British English? It means that the erasers, uh-huh. las gomas de borrar, yep. are cheap. Baratos. So rubber in British English, goma de borrar, rubber in American English, condom. Mm-hmm. But the substance is the same in both languages, goma. R- the r- rubber is from Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Work. Senator, what is work? Uh, work is a necessary evil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have a lot of work today? Oh, yes. I have a ton of work today. All right. How many works by Shakespeare? How many of Shakespeare's works have you read in your life? I have read two. Okay. Yes. Tape is another one. All right. Mm-hmm. There is, the tape is not sticky. El Telo, in this case, the uh, tape is not sticky. No how many tapes? Okay, so the substance tape, uh-huh. cinta de pegar, mm-hmm. is uncountable. All right. How many? But if I ask you, Senator, how many tapes do you have in your car? In my car right now, I probably have four tapes. Uh, what are we talking about here? Cassettes. Cassette. Tapes, Cintas uh, de música. All right. Yeah, tapes are going to. When do you think tapes are going to disappear? When the last tape player breaks. It's hard to find tapes at shops anymore. Can you buy tapes anymore? Jose should know this because Jose is a music expert. 
difficult. At ah, gas, stations. gas stations. That's right. Torito, <laughs> Torito, bravo. Yeah, you know, El Fari is a is a staple at the gas station tape selection. It's true. Normally, you have a Julio Iglesias tape. A Fari tape. And what was it? That Camela. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm uh, not going to sing that. <laughs> okay. Gas stations. And maybe at used record shops. Yeah, probably. 